all right i'm back with another video showing you guys how to make my buttermilk ranch chicken tenders all right you're going to use buttermilk whole buttermilk i got this from my local food outlet store for 50 cents it was on sale that's a deal all right you're going to get your bowl ready and your buttermilk you're going to pour that in there and you're going to add in your chicken all right once you get all of your chicken added in you're going to make sure you clean up the area that you wash your chicken in so that nothing gets cross contaminated and you're going to season your buttermilk and your chicken i added some ranch um powdered seasoning to that all right and then i mixed all of that together made sure that it was well incorporated and combined okay mix that all together very well next you're going to get your flour your batter ready for your chicken uh, that's martha white flour and once you get that in the bowl you're going to add in all of your seasonings any season of your choice and make sure you mix that in very well then you're going to get your pan ready <coughs> add in your oil all right once you get your oil added in you'll go ahead and get that chicken battered up so you're going to transfer that over to your uh, batter mix all right and once you get so many pieces of that chicken in there you can go ahead and begin to batter your chicken and I learned a little technique that when you batter your chicken in order I to get 24. it set here, when you batter your chicken, you want to um, add the batter and squeeze it onto your chicken. Like, I don't think you have to double dip your chicken in order to get that thick coating that you like. You can just actually squeeze and that's how it's going to look once you squeeze all that batter in really tight. Next, you're going to put all of it in a plate and let it sit so it adheres to the chicken. All right, check your oil, but honey, don't let your oil get too hot. Cause it's <laughs> if it's too hot, you're going to burn it. <laughs> so, anywho, I had to remove that chicken and turn my uh, oil down and let it, you know, calm down so I can cook my chicken. And this is it when they say the regular temperature is cooking nice and steady. It's not, it's not cooking too fast. All right, and this is the finished product. I hope you guys like, enjoy, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.